One of countless sites of illegal mining in the country, abandoned and left to fester, turning into a haven for criminal elements that have spilled over to local communities. There are kidnappings, there are rapes, there are hijackings, there are murders. And some of the crimes that were not there before these people arrive. But now we are seeing an increase in the hijackings and in the murder and in the rapes and mostly murders are being committed with a firearm. But it seems the situation was left to deteriorate over time. We can't get the explanation why this area is still active uh, to be utilized by Zama Zamas. We are told that there was um, a, an application for liquidation as early as the 1980s up to 1995 and it seems they still want to believe that that liquidation is still in effect. Surely you can't have a liquidation that sits for more than 30 years. At the next site of illegal mining activities, the members of the parliamentary portfolio committees were even more disappointed. You can see from the state of the buildings here that this thing has long not been operational. So why have you waited for so long? This is a serious uh, war zone, this area. Mm. And I wanted us because we are, we are not going to be able to visit all the shafts. Mm. But I can tell you that this belt is where the highest form of violence takes place. Authorities say collaborative efforts are in place to combat this level of criminality. We are deeply concerned as the department and especially in the wake of what has happened in Kruger Stop. Uh, that has put a sharp spotlight on the uh, illegal uh, and illicit mining that the Zamazamas are doing. And uh, that is why we work uh, collaboratively with the law enforcement agencies. That is why we work with your home affairs and all our other relevant stakeholders. We have already conducted 59 operations as of the beginning of this year. Total number of 232 people have since been arrested. The breakdown is 149 are from Lesotho, 48 Mozambicans, 17 Zimbabweans, and then 18 South Africans. The Portfolio Committee says it will also rope in the Department of Justice in its endeavors to address the scourge of illegal mining. Sintle Inglihihi, SABC News, Stillfontein.